Hi everybody, Christian here. If you guys seen my last video on the Janet Jets and Camo Dudes of Las Vegas, I just kind of coined that phrase. Uh, you guys seen that I made a comment and pinned it underneath the video saying that I was leaving and doing a job up north at a mine with one of the best customers that I have. And afterwards I was going to because the mine is about 125 miles north of Area 51. So on my way back, I had planned, and I actually planned this really well to get there at a certain time, and I also knew a storm was rolling in, so I wanted to get there at this time to Area 51. So when I was done with the job, with no sleep, I drove to Area 51, went to Groom Lake Road. I actually arrived at Groom Lake Road from the 375 and the stop sign at 11.30. And I made it to the front gate, I would say about 12.10. And there was two, two camo dudes there, which were up there either just staring at me or sleeping. Either way, I don't blame them one bit, you know. I wasn't going there for any kind of excitement from the camo dudes or anything like that. You know, I was really wanting to go there because, you know, it's a little bit different going there at 12 a.m. that late. And then also with the monsoon storm that was there, I was hoping that the storm would have hit, which it was supposed to, around that time. So I could show you guys the mass lightning that these monsoon storms generate in that I knew if that storm would have been there those lightning bolts would have came all the way down to the ground hit the ground and made explosions it's just amazing seeing something like that another reason why I picked that night also is there was absolutely no moon I mean it was dark out there and one thing that I really caught out there because nothing really exciting happened out there but what I did catch is, if any of you know monsoon storms, part of the sky can be just completely full of dark clouds, real thick, thick, dark clouds, and they're real low clouds. And then it could be a clear sky right over, right over you. Over the base of Area 51 were the thick, low-lying clouds. Now as I was driving away from the front gate on Groom Lake Road, I would say I was not even halfway back to 375, Area 51 turned their lights on. So I would say this was about a, uh, 1245, 1 o'clock. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 145, around then. And I stopped the Jeep, got out, and I was able to film it. I, I got it really good because it worked out so perfectly and I didn't expect this to happen but there's so much light out at the base at Area 51 with those low-lying clouds and as thick as they were the lights just came up and just bounced off the clouds and just you could see it just all the way on the clouds but you could see it all the way down because the clouds were so low okay all right so i made it to groom lake road and i decided that you know i had to find a place to sleep i was going to sleep and then go around the next day and do some more investigation so i picked where the bluebird bus picks up the guys in ash springs and i found a really good spot to where they couldn't spot me and I just decided to sleep there. So I made video through the night of me being there and when I went to go edit this video, I'm actually at the mine right now back. I'm actually in my fifth wheel at the mine that stays up here all the time. I went to go edit that video and during this trip, I had a really bad thing happen to me. I'm not sure if I'm going to say yet what happened. 
but my camera was tampered with uh, the viewfinder was broken but somebody had it and they were able to erase videos on it I didn't think they were even able to watch a single video but they were they erased when I went down Groom Lake Road at midnight caught the base you know with the lights on and everything so I'm making this video I mean it's without me explaining it to you right now it would just make no sense to you because it picks up I believe around 3 a.m. when I had just almost fallen asleep area 51 was here I was parked like this so my rear bumper was facing area 51 I was leaned back in my chair and all of a sudden out of my rear view mirror and my side mirror I just seen just bright bright light I don't know if area 51 turned on a couple more runways or what they did but I automatically got uh, grabbed the camera and rushed out and tried filming it and that's where the video starts off it really doesn't show the light that well because I was further away from it at that time than I was on Groom Lake Road and then it also picks up at 5 a.m. something woke me up and it was pouring rain but it's pitch black and I even said in the video at that point I go well it's a little bit brighter outside at least you know but it still looks pitch black so I lost a good I don't know 50 minutes of video that I would have edited down to about 15 minutes of video like I said wasn't the most exciting video in the world but you know seeing the base like that you know when you're like between Los Angeles and Las Vegas and you get to about Baker and you could just see the lights of Vegas just just coming up from the sky but they just come straight up well it was so much better this time because of the clouds of Area 51 it was just un believable but guys I have got in this series in this trip that I just did I've got some really good video just excuse this first video understand that you know I am very frustrated over it you know I mean even though I live within close proximity of it and I do work at a mine near there I usually don't take the 375 there or home I always take the 95 it is out of my way going east and then coming back down to take the 375 and then also from Vegas to there it's it's quite a long drive and you know you're there for well for me I always spend a minimum of two days there you know I just don't have time for that all the time so to get that time back with no moon a monsoon storm right there you know midnight you know I'm never up past midnight to happen again I just can't see it so that's that's my big frustration with this video being tampered with and I'll get into that as the videos are released you know but still I'm really thinking about you know really saying what did happen out there I did have something very bad happen out there something that I will never forget but I really hope I do forget you know so just please watch this video and keep in mind what I said and remember guys there's way better video coming after this video guys thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching oh and also guys I got a call from a big YouTube youtuber called third phase of moon and they asked if they could do an interview with me and I said yes and I really didn't expect when they told me to call at 9 p.m. that they wanted the interview done right then and there but they did 
and they actually put it on some kind of live radio they've got so you know thank god they edited it edited it it as well as they could because I was really kind of nervous and stumbling over my words and you know but still it's it's a good video so look for third phase of the moon one word and I believe they titled the video area 51 in parentheses I believe but it's it's easy to find it's their second video up right now but they load videos really quick so area 51 in parentheses and it says area 51 wants this video shut down it's something very similar to that so you can't miss it guys take a look at it you know all right guys Thank you again and enjoy the video. Okay guys, real quick before I go to bed, I'm parked. Just look how much light, I hope you can see it. That's that one light I was talking about. But I hope you can see in the clouds how much light Area 51 gives off. The reflection in the clouds. I hope you can see it. Yep. When it's cloudy, this would be the perfect time to go to Tickaboo Peak. I just about fell asleep and I noticed the base turned on more lights. I hope that's showing up. It's literally impossible to see out of this, darn it. It is just completely lighting up all those clouds just right over the mountain. They have got so many lights out there. Well everybody, it's 5 a.m. and it's pouring rain. I'm a little brighter out there. I didn't get much sleep at all. Good morning everybody. It is obviously the next day. As you can see, it is pouring rain outside. It's got to be flooding in certain areas out there, but I am exactly where the employees wait for the Bluebird white bus. So they're going to start showing up here any minute now. That's why it's great that it's raining because they really can't see me that well with the windows being like this. So, a lot of people put on the comments they'd want to see this. I'm not going to get anybody's faces. But look at how, my goodness. I mean, just look at how low the clouds are. Uh, I go through this window. That entire mountain is actually in a cloud. And you see the clouds. It's almost like a fog, a San Francisco fog. This place just was so hot. It's actually kind of cold out here. Alright guys. I'll start filming again when the workers start arriving. There's the bus guys. There's two workers.
goes to the main gate. Look at how the clouds are just right on the ground. You could actually see the Area 51 road from up here. Wait a minute. I think I see the bus. Right there. See how far the opposite way Area 51 is? It's about to go in that cloud. 